Good morning, folks. Gary Hoffman here, RV Sales of Oregon. Uh, we're located here in Eugene on Highway 99. Uh, we like to refer to our location right in the middle of RV Row. Uh, there's tremendous uh, dealers within this 10 mile stretch of highway. Uh, we're a small dealership here. Uh, we specialize in, in the best possible used inventory that we could find for our, our customer base. And today I want to talk to you about a National RV Surfside. The coach is a 34 foot, it's a 34D model. Uh, it sits on a Ford chassis and the engine's going to be a Triton uh, V10. Gives you tremendous pulling capacity, uh, should you choose to pull a small boat, maybe a tow vehicle. Uh, I would consider the coach uh, the beginning of, uh, in the Class A model, of a full-time rig. Tremendous storage, interior and exterior. And what we can do here is walk around the outside and we can show you a little bit of that. So we're going to work our way down the, the side of the coach here. The first thing we're going to see that I like is the fact that it is a mid-door motorhome. Uh, anytime we have a mid-door coach, it allows you to keep the door open and you're underneath the awning. Uh, you can have your picnic table set up here, a tent out of here, uh, your barbecue, and it's all protected by the awning. And, and probably the, the neatest feature is when you go into the coach, you're not going to interrupt the living area of the motorhome, which we'll show you shortly. But you have a full-size couch and dinette that can be being used for board games, somebody napping. You can enter the coach, use the restroom, and step out and, and leave that whole entry level alone. Okay. The storage on the coach we mentioned, we're going to open up a couple bay doors here. Uh, that being your first storage, and the first thing you notice is how clean it is. Nice wide open felt lined, and we have an adjoining bay here. So it almost gives you a 10 foot in length, but easy access to the full 10 feet. What National RV chose to do on these bay doors is they swing open. Um, that creates all the room in the world to enter the storage area, grab your items, and get out. When they're open, they're open. Nice strong strut. And when they're shut, they pull shut and creates a nice tight seal with the automotive bulb seal. A double electric step uh, to enter the coach, as well as a grab handle on the exterior. And a nice feature here, if we were to come back to a quick peek, is a three foot tall grab handle uh, that is actually bolted down into the sidewall of the coach uh, into the, uh, the steel surrounding there. Again, mid-door motorhome, uh, one of my favorites. A couple more storage bays back here. Uh, this storage bay, in fact, will open and we can see the storage going all the way through the coach to the other side, creating a basement model. National RV built quite a few coaches. Uh, they probably, the beginnings were the Dolphin. I'm sure a lot of folks remember them. They had your Seabreeze, and then they introduced this upper end surf side. Rear cap of the coach. First thing you notice is your, your brake light uh, sitting up above. Should you tow, which this coach does come with a, uh, a very nice tow system, uh, a small car, boat, you're just going to be able to access that brake light, or other people are going to be able to see that brake light when you're going down the road. The fuel entry for the coach is in the rear of the coach. That makes it nice. It doesn't matter which side of the pump you should pull in when it is time to fuel the coach. You have a rear window on the coach. Most Class A motorhomes do not have rear windows. The nice thing about that window, it adds light all the way through the living area. Uh, it's, a, in my mind, a safety feature. Um, but sometimes it's nice to lay on the bed and just look out and see the birds at the campground. Uh, you have yourself a backup camera. Uh, extra uh, certainty going down the road. To, number one, make sure you're still towing what you think you're towing. Uh, but to keep an eye on the others around you. Very clean, fiberglass, all one piece rear cap. Nice coach. It's a double slide motorhome. This slide out here. And if we come down this way a little bit and look back, we can see the nice tight seal. Uh, very, very important to keep what's outside outside and keep the elements from working the way into the coach. I think National RV probably did as good a job as anybody is building a slide out and keeping the structural integrity. 
So that's your bedroom slide out. Up front here we have a larger slide, and that's going to give us tremendous livability on the inside. It's a big 14 foot slide out wall. The Ford chassis gives you a nice wide stance. Excellent balance going down the road. A dual front windshield. Camera view. And again, all one piece fiberglass on this front cap. We work our way to the inside of the motorhome. When we work our way up here to the, the living area, probably the first thing you notice is the, the decor in the coach. This is a maple wood. It's very, very light. Uh, solid maple front cabinets. And we can open up some of the storage we talked about earlier on the inside. That's a tremendous amount of storage, folks. That's the full length from the front door to the cab of the coach. And you're probably uh, 20 inches tall all the way across there. Back in the corner here above the co-pilot chair. Again, more storage. Now for the co-pilot, you have the oversized chair and this does go forward and swivel and become part of the living area. But you also pick up a, a real nice workstation. And this is going to allow you to, if you travel with a laptop, what have you, you can store it right there, uh, pull it out to do work or keep up on the Keep up on the family while you're out on the road. Okay, the miles on the coach uh, are in good shape in that it's it's turned about 17,500 miles. A lot of life left on the motorhome. When you see the dash there, you're going to see access to cruise control. Uh, you, you never want to look away when you're going down the road, and this allows you to keep those controls on a nice soft touch steering wheel. Uh, the jack system on the coach our uh, power hydraulic and you access them right there from the driver's side and there is your rear camera okay you have a oversized kitchen an awful lot of counter space on the coach this is a non-porous material uh, should you ever get a scratch on this uh, you're able to rub that down and keep its natural good looking stone texture porcelain double sink quite a bit of storage up above your your kitchen and the microwave is a auto touch Dometic uh, micro convection oven normally when you get the micro convection you do not get the oven down below here they give you both micro convection as well as the oven probably a three burner uh, stove top to cook off here very little use on this motorhome. It has many, many years of uh, enjoyment left in it. There's two types of floor plans you'll find in Class A's. Straight aisles, which allows you a full view into the bedroom, or what we have here. And this is what we would call a side aisle. Gives you tremendous privacy back in the master suite. We'll work our way through the aisle here. And we're going to find a walk-around full-size queen bed uh, in the slide-out. Uh, this is the rear window we looked from the outside and saw. So you get tremendous light in through the coach. The bathroom area, it's going to have access from both the side aisle and the master suite. The nice thing about that is if you travel with other folks, they can access the bathroom without coming into the bedroom. Because you do have a pocket door right there. It's a full-size shower. Uh, with a tub. Uh, that's one of the larger showers you're going to see. They set that in the corner there. And I'm going to walk through the hallway and enter the bathroom. And you can see just how big this, this shower is. I'm about, oh, I'm about 6'9", and I'm probably closer to 350. And I probably should tell the truth. I'm probably a little more than that. But I'm able to get in here at 69350, shut the door and still have plenty of room. I'm taking advantage of the skylight as you can see, much needed. But very nice size shower, a, a seat to sit down, and it's all one piece. Storage within the bath area itself. You're going to have place for linens, towels. You probably got enough room in there for three or four months. 
before you have to do any laundry if you choose to. Okay, back through the hallway into the living area. You have a window at the point of the, where the hallway starts. And again, light is so important in a motorhome. The more window space area, the more glass space, the more light you're going to have. You have the day and night treatments. Very quiet going down the road. You do have tinted glass. They're thermal pane windows. And, and thermal pane does a couple things for you. Sometimes you're going to pull into a rest area. You're next to the highway. It's going to knock down on the noise. What it was originally built for was to keep the cold air in when you want it cold and to keep the warm air in when you want it warm. So folks, this is a, a very nice coach. Very few miles. Uh, come see us here at RV Sales of Oregon. Again, we're on Highway 99 in Eugene. My name is Gary Hoffman. We're a small dealership, 10 employees, and all of us would love to, love to meet you and, and show you the process we take you through once we sell a coach. Thank you.